Hi everyone. Very good evening to you all. Am I audible or my screen is visible to everyone? Yes, yes. Okay, good, good. How are you, Siva? Yeah, fine, sir. Good. How are you learning? Yeah, it's going fine, sir. Good, good. Oh, somewhere my. Let me just close it. Close it. Okay. All right, good. What about all everyone? Sunny, Mohit, Nilesh, Vishab, Rudra, Sartak, you all doing great? Yes, sir. Good, good, good. Thank you, thank you. All right, so we can start our session, okay? So last time we just discussed about more about the basic principle of the firewall, why we need a firewall, right? And I described things, why we need a firewall, right? And uh, at least I hope you guys understand why we need a firewall, right? It's very important to know why we need a firewall. If you don't know at least the basic principle, why you need a firewall, then like it is going to be you known. Uh, not give a very good flavor to understand about the end-to-end -end concept about the firewall. So first you should know why I am doing something. Okay. So why is very important to start learning anything. If you having a question in your mind, and if you're just trying to figure out the answer, mm -hmm. then there is a chance you'll get more accurate knowledge or more, more precise knowledge about those concept code technology, right? So always try to ask why 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 right so it's very important that's why i told during the explanation of the you know our initial session and that was almost uh, introduction session of the firewall i tried to explain why we need a firewall right and explain the scenario about the houses about the societies about the you know the you know uh, offices and i describe how many devices we have in the office what kind of the like uh, belongings we have in the houses, what kind of the belongings we have in the societies and what are the like chances we have where people can enter in our premises and they can, you know, do some kind of the wrong thing. Like they can try to, you know, do some kind of the theft. They can try to take out some equipment. They can try to just get some kind of the access about like very important documents and all. And, lot of things they can do. <clears throat> so to protect them, we understand why we need to deploy and why we need to use the security, right? So those security could be multiple factor of those security. It could be the physical security. It could be the like surveillance security. It could be the lock gate that is again physical. And based on that, we can probably <clears throat> protect our scenario, whatever we have in terms of the houses, society and the offices. So I hope that is very clear. Same concept, same concept, firewall use. And that we will understand today in more detail, right? But before I start about more about the firewalls, we have to understand why we need a Palo Alto because we are focusing about the Palo Alto firewall. So we just have to also understand why we need a Palo Alto firewall, right? So I can say Mithlesh is watching on the YouTube. He's saying, hello, sir. Hi, Mithlesh. If you want to join the live session, just let me know. I'll share the link. It's open for everyone for this week, today and the Friday session. And then the session will be the close. So if you want to enjoy free classes, you can enjoy or you want to enjoy on the YouTube. That also fine. There is no problem. If you're having any question, Mithlesh, you can ask. <clears throat> no problem. So I was discussing like if we just have to learn any particular vendor firewall, then we should also know why I should learn particular vendor firewall, right? So about the Palo Alto, I will explain why Palo Alto firewall in today, right? Then we'll understand what basically model of the like uh, particular firewall that uh, means the what product of the Palo Alto to just going to cover the different various model of the firewall that I'm going to explain. And then we'll try to compare some other vendor firewall also, right? 
So let's start without wasting our time. And then we'll just try to discuss more about the firewall and try to discuss about the legacy firewall. We'll try to discuss the next generation firewall. We try to explore what are the differences between the firewall, proxy, and that all. These are the very important concepts. And I know we are get, taking a classes from the different different sources. We are just focusing on the topics, right? So I'm writing, just we are focusing on the very high level topics like what is the SP3 architecture, how the NAT is going to work, how the policy is going to be created, what is SSL decryption, what is the HA. These are the very important, I know that, but the most important, you should know basic fundamental, right? I keep focusing on the basic fundamental. If your basics are clear, you can understand anything. So I just spend more time on the basics. I want my audience, my student who is just watching from anywhere, they should know basic concept first. And then we can go step by step, like, and we'll understand the all configuration aspect of the firewalls, right? So that is again course curriculum. We just have to complete. There is no chance to skip anything. But basic foundation is very important. If you're building any houses and if your base is not very strong, you know, if your base is not very strong, probably your house might be, you know, going to damage in the, you know, very uh, low scale of the earthquake. Okay. So this is very important. Whatever the foundation you are going to build before building the big, uh, like multi-story building or might be two, three story building. Even the single story building, your base should be very, very, you know, uh, strong. So Hemant is asking, please share the link. I'm planning to join. Hemant, just give me one minute. I'm sharing the Zoom link with you. So you can join. There's no problem. So just give me one second, guys. Hemant looking to join the live session. So let me just pass the Zoom link. So I'm just sharing one message. You can... And let me see if I can be able to stay or not. Just give me one second. Uh, still, it's big message. Let me just make it minimize. Oh, sorry guys, just give me one second. I need to share the Zoom message. One of the students is just asking to join. So I want to share with him. So at least he can join the live session. Okay, I got it. So Hemant, I just shared the Zoom link. You can just join. And uh, if you want to join the Zoom, you can join it okay so i just pasted in the group chat like uh, live chat of the youtube you can take and you can join all right sorry for that <clears throat> so even you are just building the you know any kind of the buildings any kind of the your houses then you just have to make sure you just have to basically uh, be sure like your foundation is very strong and that is a strong message i'll pass and I keep passing in my every course module, even I'm teaching the CCNA, CCNP, right? Or the SD-WAN, right? Any other firewalls, whatever the topic I'm teaching, that all I keep focusing on the basics, right? So we, we just have to focus on the basics, right? So what next? So the next is, we understand about the firewall, basic principle in the, our day-to-day -day life scenario about the building security and all and all. So I'm not going to talk about that. Who is watching first time, just try to, you know, <clears throat> uh, watch the video on my previous session and you'll get down all answers. So today I'm going to talk about the, why we need the Palo Alto firewall, right? So the first thing you just have to understand why we need a Palo Alto firewall. So we having a multiple vendor available in the market who is just providing the firewall solutions, right? So what are those vendors are available in a market? 
so those vendors are available like you must heard about the cisco right cisco also creating the firewall that is known as the asa second is the palo alto right you can just write the pa if you want to sort so you can we call the pa as a palo alto we having the checkpoint we having the 40 gate right we having a suppose we having the azure firewall so lot of vendors the cloud firewalls so similar we having a uh, different different vendors available in the market and they all are doing the great job in the firewall services so if you go in this particular magic quadrant of the network firewall you'll find a lot of vendors who is just doing the firewall services right <clears throat> so if you try to understand palo alto fortinet checkpoint cisco alibaba microsoft huawei juniper amazon and sony sony qual fortinet suppose cartoon network versa network so lot of vendors are available and they all are dealing with the palo alto firewall right so what next so why we should understand the palo alto firewall right this is the main question we just have to explore so first thing i am telling you if you are going to start your career with the palo alto firewall it is a very easy to understand first thing you just have to keep in your mind it is a very easy to understand so even you just having the basic knowledge of the ccna and you are planning to learn the palo alto because any firewall understanding you just having basic knowledge of the networking this is the prerequisite you cannot skip this you just have to have this networking knowledge network fundamental then you can go and learn the firewall not palo alto any firewall so if you having a ccna or basic networking understanding you can immediately start learning the palo alto firewall or any vendor firewalls if you having the like dream to work in the security domain so in out of any firewall if you are choosing the palo alto firewall this is a going to be you know game changer for you why the game changer there is a multiple reason first thing you will quickly going to understand this firewall quickly so very quick because it's very easy to understand the way firewall design the way the way concept they describe the way configuration you going to do that's very user friendly likewise the android you keep using the mobile phone likewise the window pc you keep using if you having the window pc right so i'm giving the example we if you having the window pc and if you having the linux pc both are doing the same job you can do the your daily daily work on the both of the operating system both are the os operating system but people are more happy while using the window because the more user friendly this is not more user friendly so if you are the engineer and similar you having the palo alto firewall and some other vendor firewalls so you will find pa is more user friendly more engineers friendly they can easily understand the concept they can easily do the configuration they can easily do the troubleshooting and the various level in very deep level troubleshooting so these are the key thing basically you just have to take care in your mind while choosing the any track to learning the firewall so this is the one things when you selecting the firewall or you selecting your career in the firewall domain so you can select this is the one region palo alto but this is not always going to be ideal condition for you <clears throat> there might be a scenario there might be a scenario where basically you might not be going to learn first firewall as a palo alto firewall why might be you get a new job right as a fresher or might be as a network engineer you start working in the noc or soc scenario and where you might find the cisco asa your firewall will be find the cisco asa you might be find the forty gate you might be find the checkpoint so why you go and learn the palo alto first there is no meaning for you no meaning for you you can just go and start your learning with the palo alto if your on job requirement is to start working on the 40 gate or the checkpoint or cisco just go with those firewall there is no harm to go with them okay you can always go any other firewall because every firewall having the 
some advantage and disadvantage right everything like wise we purchasing the mobile phone right we having the mobile phone some one people using the iphone some using the samsung someone is a nokia and someone using the mi right so why i select the iphones because might be i am very passionate about the iphones i have lot of money right and i can buy this phone right but might be at the same time i have a dream to buy the iphone but i i don't have the money right so i cannot buy the iphones right so this is the another scenario i have a dream but i cannot buy so first you have to arrange the money and then you can buy the iphones some people can afford the samsung some can afford the nokia some can afford the mi so it's depend situation different you know your financial status and it's all about how you feel some people have are very rich right they having a lot of money but still not buying the iphones because they believe it's just you know waste of money to buying the iphones a lot of money is going to be required so why not i can buy the mi so what is the thought process when we are going to take a decision so the thought process could be you want to showcase you are you having a very high dream to just go with the latest gadgets you just having the high dream to just showcase i have the iphones or might be you are just focusing i need to do call right i need to make a call or i make i need to make a email i make need to write a whatever like messaging anything so all the phones whatever you are saying here they can do the calls they can do the message they can do the video call whatsapp email whatever you think all phone is going to do so what is the basic difference so the basic difference is some phone having some high memory high processor they having the high quality of the camera right so different different features they all having and based on the features people are just selecting the phones right someone looking the uh, for the android someone looking for the os like uh, uh, ios that is for the apple so that is another factor someone is looking for the security someone is just compromising with the security so these are the factors so based on the different different feature different different factor people are going to buy the phones right <clears throat> similar way in the palo alto scenario or like any firewall scenario if you are choosing or very as a fresher career as a palo alto engineer you just have to select what actually and uh, what firewall actually you want to learn and what is your current situation if your current situation i want to just learn the firewall learn the firewall any firewall i would suggest just start with the palo alto there is no problem you can start with very easy to understand but there is situation you need to learn the firewall but there is a condition you have to work on the checkpoint you you have to work on the fortigate or the asa any of the three or might be the suppose firewall you just go with the your requirement not with the palo alto so you just have to understand your conditions based on the condition you have to take your decisions but i will explain each and everything about all the vendors right so you can see this is the last year gartner magic report so what is a gartner magic report we just have to understand you can see so gartner is like if you go in the google and try to search what is a gartner so gartner is basically you can see here this is the word g a r t a n e r gartner magic so this is the one of the like you can say uh, open authority or open source who just rate the various technologies right so whatever the technologies whatever the enterprise services what is the cloud features so different when related to the services technologies they keep doing research each and every products even each and every technologies each and every what i can say uh, the support models what uh, companies are giving to support to the particular technology and based on that they provide some research output so based on the last year research not the last year uh, we are in the already 2023 so it's a, about the 2021 so i loved it this slide so based on the research they have declared that palo alto is basically leader of the market so there is a total three leaders available in the market one is the palo alto another is the 48 and another is the checkpoints all are three super firewall i'm saying you get almost everything equal in all three firewalls some parameter somewhere some is lacking somewhere is like getting the superior 
but you will get similar kind of feature in the all the fireballs right so you can see here palo alto is leading the market out of the leader it's leading the top of the market and further challengers are cisco and the we having the niche player and we have visionaries so different different other vendors also available so again gartner is believing palo alto is leading in the market and most of the customer in industries most of the our customers they are using palo alto right so if the most customer using the palo alto more engineer is going to required right more engineer is going to required to support right palo alto firewall so if more firewall is using more engineer is required to support than we having the more palo alto engineer demand right so we have a demand we just have to become a uh, engineer who fulfill the, those demand so we have the high demand so we just have to learn the palo alto firewall training is going to be very high demand people have to learn those firewall and then they will fit to just you know fill those demand so it's all about the demand and supply so if you find in the market if you go in the google try to search you will find the more jobs available in the palo alto firewalls that's why if every month or every day we having the very high training requirement about the palo alto except the all the firewall always having the high requirement for the palo alto because industry in your company your your any support model whatever you are working you might find for customers are using the palo alto some customer might be using some different firewall but still some customer are using the palo alto <clears throat> so this is the one reason now talking about some kind of the basic differences which is we have in the palo alto firewall so you can see here in the palo alto firewall and the different vendor firewalls which are the more competitor with the palo alto that is the checkpoint cisco asa and the fortinet these are the major player in the market who is who basically dealing with the palo alto uh, like the firewall services firewall solutions so this is again open source like i can say is securityplanet.com that is an open source third party research company they keep doing the research likewise when you go and buy the phones what you do so before buying the phone might be you can go gsm arena or some other websites lot of websites are available and you try to compare the feature right you must compare the features might be you uh, you having a two phone in the mind right might be you just wanted to samsung and another you you having the in your mind to just buy the oppo right or might be the uh, you just one plus any phone you just wanted to buy so you must compare all three phones they might be having a similar budget might be they are all coming at 30000 inr so you are try to figure out if i am investing 30000 inr for these three phones so who is the best who is the best it not mandatory all having the similar features might be some phone having the very good camera someone having the very good ram someone having the very good storage it totally depend so now if unique unique features are different in all three phones so you are going to check what is my requirement i need i am a selfie guy i am the photographer i need to click always photo photograph I always selfies i go and visit the different different places i want to capture them so you should go with the camera phone if you want to just a gamer you might be used to play games so you just need the high processor that is a ram or cpu whatever you have so you will go with the that particular phones if i am the person who need to download more audio songs i want to download movies from the offline or online or might be I, i want to keep you know store some kind of the data or photographs or video in my mobile so might be you will go with the third phone that is a one plus so every phone having some kind of a unique feature it's your wish what exactly you want right so all phone are equally having the basic feature what is the basic feature basic feature all phone having that is a calling like you can run the youtube video you can do the whatsapp chatting whatever these are the basic features they having camera also having a storage so these basic feature having but still with the basic feature some phones having some advanced features based on the specific 
technology specific you know key products whatever they have like was the camera storage cpu ram whatever you have similar concept is going to happen with the firewalls so whenever you going to buy the firewalls like you are the company sales person right or might be the you are the you are the owner of the company right and many sales person are coming to you hey boss can you take my firewall so i am the boss and first uh, vendor come second vendor come and third vendor come one is coming for the pa one is coming for the checkpoint one is coming for the forty gate right so the, all three vendor is coming to me and they all are asking hey boss, can you take my product can you take my product so how can i compare what firewall shall i take everyone will come and explain me my firewall is good my firewall is good because they just need the money okay they having a target to sell their product but being the boss being the owner of the company how can i decide which firewall i can take so similar if you want to compare any technical product we having a various open source tools like e securityplanet.com you can find n number of tools are available who keep doing the research keep doing the research on the different different product and based on the research they provide some kind of the ratings so here is the same concept we have you can see here this particular slides it is showing we having a rating on the different different vendors firewalls right they are rating the vendors firewall they are providing the rating on the vendor firewalls based on the different different features like security performance right value for money implementation management support and the cloud feature so you can see again so every firewalls having some kind of the features and based on those features you have to decide what feature is suitable for my requirement what feature is suitable for my requirement likewise the phone phone when you buying the phone you just know i need a storage i need a camera i need a cpu or ram similar you just have to decide what is the best fit for me right so let's just suppose you are the company and you are dealing with the more cloud products right you are just dealing with the more and more cloud so you can see you just have to check the which firewall having the best cloud features right so based on that cloud feature you find checkpoint having the highest cloud features why should i not buy the checkpoint why should i go the palo alto why should i go you know for the fortinet they all are lacking why should i go there six squares so no i will go with the checkpoint because my need i need to leverage more and more cloud feature so if i just focusing overall one technology or one feature the checkpoint is leading and every vendor is lacking so this is how i can decide the cloud feature is one of the best thing second thing i want customer service which vendor having the very good customer service like we buy the cars right and car is very good right i know car is very good but after buying the car if i need after you know uh, after sale services like you just have to you use the product then you might be need a regular service you have to go for the you know service where they will uh, fill the oils they will check the tires pressure do lot of things they will do the checks and then they will quote you the price how much it is going to charge and how much time it is going to take and then your car will be delivered so some are the some are the vendors like the hyundai might be the bmw audi or might be the ford lot of vendors are toyota uh, maruti lot of vendors are available so some vendors are very you know fast in terms of service if you go with the car they will just quote you the correct price or might be the lower price and the lowest time when your car is going to be delivered with the full service right so what is going to take you saving the money you save the money plus you save your time so after purchase the product you having a two freedom like you are saving the money and you are also saving the time might be some product are very cheap right very low cost but when you go for the service they are charging very very high plus they are taking long time so it is going to be very frustrating for you like again the services they they would be very costly and they are going to be very charging very high for you so again it is a very costly similar thing when i just go and try to take the customer services this is support model right so you can see support model 
हियर चेक पॉइंट इज वेरी लैकिंग यू कैन सी क्लाउड फीचर वॉज वेरी गुड बट चेक पॉइंट इज वेरी लैकिंग इन द सपोर्ट मॉडल हाउ ओवर पैलो ऑल्टो एंड यू कैन सी फोर्टीन एट एंड दिक्स को एस ए दे ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट इन द इवन फोर्टीन एट मोर देन दोर्टीन एट सिक्सो एंड पैलो ऑल्टो इज डूइंग द ग्रेट सो सपोर्ट इज वेरी गुड फॉर दीज फायर वर्ल्स राइट सो सिमिलर मैनेजमेंट हाउ इजी टू मैनेज द फायर वर्ल्ड चेक पॉइंट Palo Alto, they both are very good in the management. Cisco S is like lacking; it's having a very complexity to manage. Fortinet also lacking, right? Little bit uh, only from the Palo Alto checkpoint, but still they having some kind of a problem. Similar, if you go further for the implementation, you can see easy to implement Palo Alto and checkpoint. You can see Cisco is again very complex. Fortinet again, it's lacking more than the Cisco and the. checkpoint so this is how we can value for money you can see palo alto again leading checkpoint is again down here cisco is again down 48 is like it's a good so if i compare the value for money so palo alto is like behind of the 48 but if i compare the checkpoint and the asa with the palo alto it is like good so 48 is leading so now some section 48 is leading security performance you can see 48 is having the very high security performance Palo Alto is very best security performance. These two having the very good security performance, while Cisco and the checkpoint is lacking. So, what is security performance? Security performance means the security model you have designed, how quick, how fast they are able to process your all security parameters, and they are able to you know uh, take an action. based on the security policy whatever you define to just take care of the security right so this is a very important <clears throat> so this is what based on the all overall scenario if you compare you will find based on this table palo alto is still leading most of the sections right you can see in compared to different different vendor firewall you can see most of the section it is leading and that's why this palo alto is a leader of the market and it is also important you should learn the firewall because it is easy to understand it's having a very high demand and also some of the open source is saying it is a good so i hope it is clear any question generic question anyone have regarding this palo alto anyone ha if having any question you guys can ask there is no problem if you feel anything you need to discuss we can discuss together <clears throat> so okay so ankit is asking sir course link so ankit uh, course link uh, probably you need to uh, connect with our our website so let me you will find the contact numbers so probably you can reach out to support team they will help you with the you know i'm just sharing the website detail with you so you can just reach out the website and you will probably you know get all the informations so you can reach out to anyone all right so further moving next in palo alto we understand why palo alto what are the great features about the palo alto what the open source is saying about the palo alto now it's time to understand what product we are going to cover in this particular palo alto session right this is our second thought or motive about that right so what basically course detail we are going to cover in this particular palo alto <clears throat> so most of the trainers you have taken the trainings they never explain about the product of the palo alto but you should know right it's my responsibility i should inform my audience what are the product available in the market of the palo alto because the vendors we are dealing with we should know in and out about those right so probably we know what is the future is going to be happen after learning but, uh, particular this particular palo alto firewall right so you can see here in this particular module in slide they are talking about the three section strata ps series prisma xs and cortex xdr right so these are the three series we have out of three series we are going to cover this series yellow one so this series basically known as the enterprise firewall so we having a two kind of the firewalls so this is known as enterprise firewall right 
this is more about cloud firewall right and this is more about daily operations you can say daily operations tool you can use or you can right so the daily operation tool right so in what is a enterprise firewall and what is a cloud firewall we just have to understand this concept concept also right so now if i use a word about enterprise firewall you just have to understand a firewall which might be a physical box right or might be the vm box could be the enterprise firewall right it is just deploy at your branch offices it could be the branch offices could be the data center or could be the headquarter any of the three location it could be deployed right so these those solution which is the basically on the talking about the basically on the enterprise they are the different kind of the hardware set different kind of the os set they just designed to just serve the enterprise firewalls features so whatever the firewall we are learning here these are the enterprise firewall individual entity that could be helping your network to just protect from any outside traffic which is not good for your network any inside traffic which is again not good for your network so those kind of the concept is known as the enterprise firewall so you can see here in the lab topology if i open it so let me just open it lab topology so in this lab topology uh, i will prepare the credential very soon for you uh, all who all done the registration so no worry so you will get the access um so you can see in this we having this firewall right so this firewall basically having the multiple legs they are connected with the dmg they are connecting with the trust they are going to untrust so this is acting as a enterprise firewall this is your one office location where you deploying one of the firewall and this firewall having the multiple zone multiple things are connected and from there your traffic is going on the internet so this is how you can deploy the enterprise firewall right but when you talk about the cloud firewalls it is something going to be different cloud is something where you having a set of the hardwares very big set of the hardwares cloud is not something is uh, something is raining from the sky it's not a cloud is just you know always roaming inside in the sky it is not like that cloud is something let's understand what is a data center and what is a cloud data centers versus cloud so if i talk about the data centers which is your on prem data center what they having in data center in the data center basically you deploying your servers right this could be a server might be you having a switches you having might be some kind of the storage you having the routers they connecting the wan connectivity and then whole of the set of the devices it's become a dc might be the cap capacity of the devices any anyone want to ask any question feel free to ask no problem okay so if you want to deploy any of the hardware here they all are the very small hardwares right they all are very small hardwares so that's why it's not having a very cap very big capacity to handle lot of uh, like uh, data storage lot of you know server processing lot of you know routing processing because it is just limited to one company so based on the one company they design the hardware at least it can be covered by the one company but let's suppose this dc need to be access via the multiple company right company a company b also c d and x y z whatever we have so are these all resources available in the data center are enough to serve this company this storage this my you know switch this my server storage switch and router are they enough to handle those all customer query not possible any question anyone unmute want to ask okay let me mute uh, you all and you can ask me uh, or raise your hand if you want to ask the question okay 
no need to worry so i mute everyone if you having any question please unmute and ask me so let's assume that you want to connect all the company different different company with the same data center so it is not possible basically technically not possible so what you have to do basically you have to increase let me just you have to increase your server capacity you have to increase your storage capacity third you just have to increase your switch switching capacity which is whatever whatever you just installed that need to be installed whatever the routing engine you have routers right that capacity also need to be increased so you have to do lot of things to just handle those cases one company was it is fine but when you start dealing with the multi company communication then your hardware should be increased and it's become the big So once it becomes the big and you start serving the multiple company, it's a become the cloud. Cloud is nothing, the a set of the a set of big big hardwares. That's all. It again required the power. This cloud again required the power. Again required the electricity. Again it required the air condition. Okay, again required some engineer who need to manage these hardwares. Again required the WAN connectivity. Everything will be similar, but what is the difference is going to happen? Your data center was the small; it is limited to one company, and now you just make the very big company with big infrastructures where you hosting a lot of servers, lot of VMs, lot of storage, very good routing engines, very good switching engine, n number of thing you are doing. and then it become the cloud so this is a basic principle you just have to understand so if we having the cloud solution where we having the very big infrastructures and we want to introduce our firewalls in those cloud features of the infra then this is a prisma access is also one of the solution where the firewall as a service we can use secure wave gateway that is a sasi is a product where they use three things firewall as a services secure wave gateway zero trust right these all three things making one of the sasi solution i have make a separate video about sasi you can go and watch my youtube channel uh, you just found out the sasi and you can just find out about that all details similar this is a prisma access cloud for the security policy whatever you are just doing the cloud security cloud infra uh, infra management everything you just you can use the prisma cloud security native platform right also sd ban feature is going to support it next generation sd ban feature that is also this prisma product is going to be supported so if you are taking the prisma licensing that having the cloud features they having the sasi feature they having the firewall feature they having the sd ban features so all feature is going to be available for you so no need to worry at all now we having the cortex xdr that is nothing just for the monitoring tool visibility how my network is behaving how the threads malicious content how my endpoint is behaving any kind of the uh, live tracking visibility on the network those all information is going to be happen in this particular prisma uh, cortex xdr so these are the all three flavors we are going to cover this strata ps series of the firewall in this particular section we will discuss discuss about more about the user id we will discuss about the application id content id device id application id again the vm series this is a physical and the vm they having the both features because exactly the deployment mode is going to be changed i talk about the one one could be the physical one could be the virtual right and then again we having the cn series so and panorama so everything we are going to cover right and we already talk about the exam and all so i'm not going to talk it again now coming to the very important point now at least we having the understanding now why firewall why we learn palo alto firewall what is the different different product having the palo alto portfolio what we are going to cover right now we just have to understand in this strata model what is the different different model of the firewall available in the market and how basically firewall look likes 
right? So let's understand this concept, right? So let me just explain. And this is the last thing we will discuss today and we'll continue from the next class. Okay. So <clears throat> now coming to the model of the firewall. So if you are going to the internet or might be you just go in the in private window and go in the any window and if you just try to search here Palo Alto firewall, right? Palo Alto firewall. You can go and search, right? So if you search this Palo Alto firewall, what is going to be happen? So if you search this particular Palo Alto firewall, the things that's going to happen, go in the image, you'll find n number of images available on the internet, right? Similar what I have in the PPT. So first you have to visualize how my firewall looks like. So you can see this is the Palo Alto firewall. This is also Palo Alto firewall. This is also Palo Alto firewall. This is also Palo Alto, Palo Alto firewall. So we having a different different like uh, Palo Alto firewall. Some are the very small. Some are the big. You can see. So some are the single rack. Some are the double rack. Right. Some are the multi rack. So different different firewall having a different different size and different different structures. So there is a meaning behind this, right? It's like something is behind. That's why they design a different different format, different different structure. And they also quoted as different different models. You can see here, some models are also written here. PA 200, uh, 800, you'll find 3200, you'll find 7000, you'll find. So different different model also it is available in the this particular Palo Alto sections. So now moving to the next. So if you go and try to purchase the firewall, which firewall should I purchase? That's again a question for you. So we having a lot of firewall in the market. You can see this is a PA 200 series of the firewall. It is the smallest firewall in the Palo Alto market. So if you just wanted to buy the Palo Alto firewall, you they will show you this is my smallest firewall and this is my highest firewall. That means biggest firewall. So one is the smallest, one is the biggest, and in between we having the multiple mid range of the firewall. So now I am the engineer. I want to buy the firewall. So which firewall is going to suitable for me? Which firewall shall I buy? Who will going to decide you, right? So to understand the requirement for the buying the any of the hardwares, could be the router, could be the switch, right? Let me just write, write here. If you're even the buying the router, if you're router, if you wind the switch, if you buying the firewall or server, right? Even your laptop, even your PC, WLC, AP, or like any storage, right? And what else? Uh, firewall, switch, WLC, storage. So what else? Uh, um, load balancer so you can just a lot of we have i'm just mentioning etc so a lot of network devices we have how we can derive even the circuit you can just circuits what are the circuits that are the isp link right so anything you are buying how you can define or like uh, take a decision which is good for me right so to to take a decision for the any product whatever you just going to buy, you just have to understand what is your requirement, right? So again, the question asked from yourself, what is your requirement? Likewise, I mentioned in the phones, what exactly you like most? What exactly you want to do when you buy the phones, right? Similar thing, what exactly you want to do when you buying the firewalls? What do you want to do? Right. So once you understand, I want to do X, I want to do Y, I want to J, uh, I want to do Z, A, B, C. So these six requirement I have. So now I have a six requirement. Based on this six requirement, I can take some decision which firewall is good for me. But how I can understand my those requirement, right? So there is a very basic principle uh, of any networking and security domain to gather the informations, right? To, you know, gather the info from customer. So whatever customer is looking for, just take the information from uh, them. How, what information could be? 
So my first question could be, okay, you need a firewall. This is the first question, right? So we agree we need a Palo Alto firewall. So if we know that need a Palo Alto firewall, but still we not sure which model that the small is going to be required or highest is going to be required. We don't know, right? So it could be a small little, so how we can decide. So there is a set of the questions we just have to ask. That is again a technical and you just have to understand. What is, where you want to put this firewall, the location, right? After that, at this location, how many employees we have, right? What type of the application they want to use, right? What kind of the services you are using, right? How kind of the, you know, connectivity is going to require from this office to different, different office locations, right? We might be, it could be one location, your branch office, right? But this branch office might be required 100 office connection. All offices need to talk to this, this branch office, like one, two, three, four, and five till 100, right? Or might be, it could be the thousand. My, I'm the global company, right? I'm the global brand. Let's just think about one of the Pepsi is a brand, right? Pepsi having the global sites across the world, right? Or you can say any FMGC branch, like Estate Bank, SBI is a brand. SBI having the lot of branch across the all India, even the across the world, they're having branches, right? So all branch should connect it together, right? So all branch should have the connectivity together. So that is also more important, right? How much bandwidth do you want? How much data you want to process in the daily daily your work operation? It's 100 Mbps, 200 Mbps, 300 Mbps, or one Gbps. That is also important. Like how kind of the, how many you want to create the tunnels, like side to side VPN tunnels, that all matters, right? Based on that set of the question and information, you can take a decisions which firewall is going to good to just serve this particular branch. And also while taking the decision, there's a scope of the increasement. Like uh, there is a sc scope for the, you know, advancement of the services. Might be today I have the X, Y, Z and ABC requirement, but might be tomorrow this requirement can be increased by A, B, C, D, E. So D and E is going to add here as a services. So will my hardware is, supportable to handle those services it's your answer should be yes if it is no then again you have to replace the hardware so my old hardware will be the useless i lost my all money it might be one year i have this service requirement but might be in the future i required more services so that consideration also you have to take while taking the right firewall decision for the, your right company operation right so this is also very important. So how, what are those features you can see here in the firewalls? In this firewall, you can see if this firewall, basically, this is the smallest firewall. They are talking about some parameters, like what is the throughput of this particular firewall? What is the threat prevention uh, throughput? What is the IPsec maximum throughput? 100 Mbps. So if you are using this firewall and you are building the IPsec tunnel, you can take 100, 100 Mbps only speed from there. If you're having the 101 or 150 Mbps requirement, this firewall is not suitable for you. It is not going to serve you one more than 100 Mbps. So again, it's a problem for you. So if you're having the requirement, like I need 150 Mbps speed in my office, then this firewall is not good for you. You might be moved to next firewall, right? Which might be having the more speed. See, this having the 400 Mbps throughput for the IPsec. So this is a good for me. It is going to cover 150, but this is not good, right? Similar, how many session, how many users are setting, what application they are using. Based on that, you can judge if that much user are setting that much application they are using, then how much session they might be created. Based on this 64,000 session are enough for me. The answer is just no, then you might be have go this far well, this having the 1,28,000 sessions, right? So similar time, all, Firewall feature, whatever we have, some are having the small features, some are having the great features, different different sessions, different different throughput, different different IPsec VPN tunnels. Some are even uh, now you having a requirement. My office employee, uh, employee can work from home, right? So WFM, right? So if I uh, work from home, 
WFH. So if you having this requirement and you want to use this firewall, so this is not going to create the side to side VPNs. This is also not going to create the fight thread VPNs. So how your remote VPN solution is going to be implemented? It is not possible, right? So for those kind of scenario, you just have to go higher range of the firewall. Might be this firewall is going to support SSL VPNs. So you can see again, it is supporting just, you know, 1,024 SSL VPN only. So if you're having more than this uh, SSL VPNs requirement, might be your company having a 2,000 user and they all need SSL VPN. So this firewall again, not good for you. Might be you'll have to move to the next firewall, right? Which having, you can see, uh, they're not mentioned about the SSL VPN, but it, definitely it's having the more. You just check the data set, you'll find the more. Or you might be go here, you can see this having the 20,000 SSL VPNs. You can see, so earlier one, earlier was having just 1,024, but here it is 20,000 and it should also having the more than uh, 1,000, it's around 10 or 20,000, I believe. So it is not mentioned here, but basically we'll find somewhere in the data set. So this is how you can check the different, different aspects, different, different various things. And based on that various things, we can decide which variable is good, which variable is not good for my requirement. So I will conclude this session from here. I'm not going to talk further because in next class, what I'm going to talk, I will uh, talk about the first module. We'll start from the first module that Friday, or if not possible in the Friday, then we'll start on the next Monday. But in before that, I will talk about what is a legacy firewall, what is a next generation firewall, why, what is the stateless firewall, what is a stateful firewall, what is a proxy. So this is the again basic principle. You just have to understand. Likewise, we are talking about the basics. So my before starting the actual module of the firewalls, I put myself more focus on the basics. So once you understand what is a stateful firewall, what is this, these are the real things you are going to be asked this question in the interview. So I want you should understand. So in next Friday session, we'll discuss about the stateful, the stateless, what is the proxy, how firewall is different from proxy, how the traffic flow is going in the proxy, what are the proxy solutions we have, how firewall is going to handle the proxy traffic, how proxy is going to handle the like direct traffic, which is coming from the direct user machine to the proxy. So these kind of scenario we'll discuss. And you can, you guys can ask the question as well. Okay. So any question guys, anyone having anything for now? Uh, if you have, you can reach out to me after the class also, you can just uh, shoot message, right? Uh, I will help to reply. And if not, we can conclude the session for now and we can connect the next class. Okay. So thank you so much guys and have a great evening, right?